personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I just got around finally to watching that uh, Louis Netty versus Azai Hovanishian fight. And man, oh man. First and foremost, let me say that I regret and I repent for not making any videos leading up to this fight. I also regret and repent for not watching this fight live because I had a kind of a crazy week. And, you know, I was I was actually driving around South Florida when this fight was happening. So, you know, um, I didn't get a chance to catch it live. But man, you know, I think in boxing, a lot of times we, especially me, for someone like me who's just talking about boxing every single day, we get oversold certain fights. We get overpromised things from the fighters, from the promoters, from the networks. And oftentimes, there's many times where, where fans are disappointed, they are misled, and they are lied to and swindled. But every now and then, there comes along one of them fights where, you know, the promoters, the fighters, and the networks are actually telling the truth. And, and it winds up being a war. It winds up being a classic. It winds up being uh, just, just a, a moment in time that reminds you so clearly and so concisely why you love the sport of boxing the way you do. And and it really puts everything back into perspective. And that's that's what this fight was. Louis Natty versus Azza Hovanishian was a modern day classic. I know we're only in February. I'm not exaggerating. This fight, barring anything extremely, extremely, extremely special, this fight is my 2023 fight of the year already. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. This fight was Evander Holyfield versus Riddick Bowe won, but the 122-pound version of it, the, the, super, the super bantamweight version of it. That's how great this fight was, uh, Louis Nettie versus Asa Hovonishian. Now, to, t to tell you the truth, um, I haven't made a whole lot of videos about Louis Nettie over the years because I, I, I've never... I, I, I didn't like him in the beginning of his career because I, I remember... Um, when he fought Shinsuke Yamanaka, you know, a lot there was a lot of unprofessionalism as far as like him failing a drug test and then him missing weight in the second fight with Yamanaka. He knocked him on both occasions and I feel like he won he beat Yamanaka, but he beat him in a disgraceful fashion due to his unprofessionalism. So that, that kind of pissed me off and turned me off to him for a while. And I just really didn't pay attention pay, pay attention to Nettie, even though I knew he was a really exciting fighter, a fun fighter to watch. It just turned me off to him and then when Brendan Figueroa knocked him out. In May of 2021, I celebrated it. I was happy about it. You can go watch the video. I was happy about it, you know, just because of what happened with, y with Yamanaka and things like that. And then, um, you know, it, it, he's just been there. I never really, like, cared much for Lewis Nerdy, but it's good for it, – this fight was good for me, too, because it, cause it forced me to be like, yo, BT, you can't be in your feelings about these fighters, man. Like, fighters go up, they go down. You just got to cover them. You got to cover their careers because you got a responsibility. And – um Louis Nettie, man, I think I think in this fight he really, really earned um, and he redeemed himself a lot for what's happened in his career what, or what, what has happened in his career. You know what I'm saying? Um, this fight was an all-time classic, and I wanted to give my respects to him, give my respects to Aza Hovanishian because both these men have been fighters that have been looking for that signature fight for a long time. And I feel like, you know, I know Louis Nettie beat Aza Hovanishian, but, like, I don't care if he fights Fulton. I don't care if he fights Inouye. He may never ever have a fight as great as this. That's how great this fight was, you know. So let's talk about it. let's talk about it. Let's uh try to summarize for you guys. Four minutes into the video now. The style match was very intriguing because Louis Nettie is a fighter that fights with a lot of confidence. He's got a great blend of speed, power, uh, reflexes, athleticism, um, and he has this sort of confidence about him that you just don't see with a lot of fighters. Uh, he's a Mexican fighter, yes, but he doesn't fight like a Mexican fighter, nor does he conduct himself as a prototypical Mexican fighter. You know, this guy likes to dance in between the rounds. You know, I saw him kind of dancing to, to, to Snoop Dogg in the corner in between rounds. You know, he talks trash. He, he talks a lot. He's, 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 a very, he's a very reactive fighter so far as like when the opponent misses, he lets the opponent know that he missed. And on top of that, he's got this gunslinging style. I mean, he, he can box and he's athletic, but then he, but then he can, at, at the drop of a dime, Turn it into this gunslinging style, which makes it very entertaining. So he he's always a fun watch, Louis Nettie. And then Asa Hovanishian, he's a guy that like, you know, when you watch him, you know, this is this is a guy, Asa Hovanishian, who in his career 
been a very good fighter, you know, um, coming to you live and direct out of Armenia. And this is a guy that, you know, years ago challenged for the world title against Ray Vargas and came up short. But then, you know, he's knocked out the likes of Ronnie Rios and, and Glenn Porras and some, some good guys in the weight class and always been, you know, a solid top 10 guy in the division, you know. And, and, and I respect Asa Hovanesian's journey in boxing because here we have a guy in Asa Hovanesian who had a couple hundred amateur fights, you know, was, was, was a highly touted amateur coming into the pros and then he loses his pro debut. And that really, I know for a fact, made him look bad in the eyes of a lot of the promoters, you know what I'm saying? So... Uh, both these men have had a hard, tough, arduous journey, and they've been overlooked by a lot of boxing people, even people like myself who pride themselves on covering the overlooked fighters, you know? So in this fight, what we got was you had Louis Netty, who was boxing and moving well at times, but then slugging, picking the right spots when to slug. And when he, when he would hit, when he would, when he would, when he would hit, as I hope Anisha, you know, you could you could definitely tell in the fight he had a clear advantage in the hand speed department. Um as I hope Anisha, as the fight went on. I thought I thought I thought in the early rounds, the middle rounds, you know, he did a great job of picking them, picking those spots, punching in between the shots of Lewis Netty, hitting him to that body, and then eventually he got he got Lewis Netty to slow down on the movement as the and as we, we went ahead into the middle of the later rounds. And this was a fight, guys, of tremendous momentum swings. I mean, like Azaho Anishian would land a, a two punch combination, and 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 then Lewis Nady would come back with 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 a four punch combination, you know. And it's like, and then like, and then was it the eleventh round? I remember Azaho Anishian in the exchange was 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 doing some of his best work. Dug that right hand straight to the body, came back up top of the left hook. It looked like for a couple rounds in the later rounds, Lewis Nady was was about to go, like 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 he was fading. I I really thought down the stretch, Azaho Anishian was was really beginning to find his footing and. All of a sudden, just yeah, kind, of, kind of like his countryman, uh, Maurice Cialaro or Lee Wood. You know, one guy is doing a great job boxing, in this case, doing some power boxing. You know, throwing harder shots and more bad intentions. But it's it's the Mexican. And this is why the Mexican fighters have, the, have their reputation. Their, their fighters do a great job of uphold, upholding that reputation of being tough and gritty when the shit, when she, when shit hits the fan. Because shit was hitting the fan for Luis Netty. And he found the right shots, you know, with overhand lefts, sweeping left hooks, and and, and he eventually wound up dropping um, Aza Hovanishian, and then uh, he got the stoppage. So it's like great, great fight, just a classic. Uh, like this fight, guys. Like I, I don't often say this, but like this is one of them fights to where like if if you're trying to convert one of your friends who's not a boxing fan, who doesn't know anything about the sport, and you're trying to give them suggestions to watch boxing that would potentially convert them into a fan. This is the kind of fight where I would suggest it to my friends who don't normally watch boxing because that's how great it was. It's the kind of fight that the obviously the purists could appreciate, but that, that the casuals could appreciate as well. Um, had a little bit of everything, and it's just like, man, I'm, I'm, I don't often say this, but like I was, I was so hum, I'm, 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 I'm humble just even talking about them. I'm humble even watching them, and it's like, man. <sighs> Louis Netty, you know, he's been talking a lot about, you know, fighting like some like some annoying and Fulton and and you know whatnot. And I'll get to that in another, another video, but I I I will just say it here uh in short, you know, he he's definitely earned his right to that fight. So um in the future, of course, after they fight. But like, man, what a great fight. The best way I could put it is and I and I'm gonna steal the way I'm gonna steal it the way that Sergio Moore said it in the tenth round of the of the commentary. This was the super band and weight version of Riddick Bowe, Evander Holyfield number one. It was that kind of fight, nip and tuck, power boxing in the pocket. Not necessarily rock and sock and robots where the guys had no defensive responsibility. There was a lot of high-level things going on defensively, but them dudes was power boxing. They were throwing punches with bad intentions to, to put you on that dialysis bag and send you to the hospital. Both guys really wanted to win, and it was really reflected in their efforts. So um, let me take this time here on True School Sports to say that I genuinely and sincerely appreciate uh, Louis Nettie's efforts and Asa Hobonishian's efforts. God bless them. And I'm just glad they woke out the ring safely. And it's like, it's, it's one of them fights, guys. Like, I, I'm almost getting tears talking about it because that's how beautiful of a, fight, of a fight it was, you know. We go through a lot here on True School Sports covering the, covering the sport of boxing. You know, I'm subjected to a lot of bullshit in boxing due to some of the things I see in boxing behind the scenes. You know, I'm, I'm very... Uh, passionate about this sport because it saved my life in so many different ways um i'm such a, you know I, there's just so many things about this sport sometimes that could put you off even as someone who loves it right there's a fine line between love and hate but man 
this is one of the fights to where like you, you almost want to use it as, as a reference point as to when you kind of like get sad and down and somber about boxing this 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 fight you know Hovanishian versus you know Lewis Nettie this is a fight that really uh put things back to, into perspective and barring anything of extreme I'm talking about extremely high all-time great top 50 to top 100 fight caliber stuff in the whole history of the sport Aza Hovanishian versus Luis Nene is my fight of the year, and, and, and there's no twist about it. So I, I respect both of them, and, and like I said, if I wasn't fans of them before, if I didn't really cover their careers the way I should have been doing it before, then God dang it, I'm going to start doing it now because it was a hell of a fight, and I'm going to leave it at that. So, uh, yeah, shout out to both of them for, for, for delivering, delivering the boxing fans an all-time classic. And um, listen... You know, I know, I know, uh, Nettie's gonna be in line for some bigger fights, but if Golden Boy wants to put that money down the road or at some point for a nice little rematch, I say pay them both and let's give the fans what they want to see. You know, not every fight gotta be a world title fight. You can, you can, you can make great fights. If the, if the first fight was entertaining and the fans enjoyed it, people are happy, a hundred, uh, and there's a hunt, there's a one hundred percent satisfactory rate. Why not do a rematch and just, just pay the guys more money and 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 make it more hyped up? You know. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. You know, shout out to both of them. I'm, it's 6 in the morning. I had, like, no energy. But, like, this fight was so good. It, like, re-energized me to come on here and talk and ramble for damn near, you know, 12 minutes. So, uh, I'm going to leave it at that. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. What did, what did you make of Asaho Venetian versus um, Luis Neddy? You know, let, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Dania. So until next time, take care. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.